Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Hunter and today I am super pumped to bring you this camper. It's the 2022 East to West Ahara 325RL and I am excited because of that name right there, Ahara. This is their new full profile luxury line. This is the first time that I'm personally seeing one. The first one that we've gotten here at RV Nation on our lot and I would have to believe one of the first in the country uh, and I, I'm pumped for it. So like I said, full profile. So that means you're going to have a ton of headspace here in the bedroom. I also noticed it has the Rhino box. So I am presuming it has a really nice size closet to go with it. Those Rhino boxes, they do allow you to have 10 to 15% more space there in the front of the camper. Tons of outside storage. I had this bad boy opened up for me so I could walk into it for the first time with you and I am freaking excited. But again, the 2022 East to West Ahara 325RL. I'm gonna put the specs up on the screen here real quick, give you a couple moments, and then I'm gonna head on inside. All right, now those specs should be back down if I do my job well on the editing side. But uh, yeah, okay, so this Ahara line, let's step in, let's see what it's all about. They did warn me there's going to be some cardboard and some tape in places because it literally just got off the line. And man, this is freaking awesome. Loving this decor. Okay, so it is nice. It is light. It is bright. You have your Dometic four-door refrigerator. There is a ton of counter space in this thing. This is a solid surface countertop, as you can see. I think what I'll do is give you a look from the other side, and then we'll start kind of from the back and rear way back up. But this thing is looking real nice. Cannot wait to get up into that bedroom too and check out all the space. Again, like I said, this is their luxury line, but their whole thing is it's their luxury line at kind of a mid-level or an upper mid-level price, I should say. They're definitely not cheap. And if you guys are in the market for a camper or just London uh, pricing, make sure to uh, you know give me an email at hunter at the rvhunter.com. But right back here, you got a whole bunch of windows. It looks like you got some nightshades that'll scroll on down for you so that way you can block out the sun. The rep did tell me that every window in this camper can open, so I'm very excited to check that out. You have your three cushion trifold sofa. So what that means is you're gonna pull this out. It's gonna go to about right here, and that will be a king size you know, pull out bed for you, which is absolutely phenomenal when you need some sleeping for a couple extra people. Outlets and USBs, outlets and USBs. The decor is looking sharp. Windows are a little dirty. Cannot wait to get this bad boy cleaned up and on our lot for people to check out. So that goes all the way through to the other side. That gives you a nice little view of kind of what you're working with here above. Now right over here is this entertainment area. You got some storage right here. You got a fireplace, which just is on a jump box, so I can't turn that on. But this is your classic, you know, camper fireplace. You're gonna have a couple different settings for different colors. And then the temperature setting will go up to 100 degrees. And in a 35 foot camper like this is, that'll be enough to heat up this entire room without kicking on the heat, which is nice. So you got your pocket TV right over here. It looks like you got yourself the switch. Jump box might be running out of juice. The lights are flashing on me. So we'll see. If we have to finish this tour in the dark, we definitely will. I'd say it looks like about a 50-inch TV. Show you the storage here beneath. And this right here. Is your inside and outside uh, speakers. Also looks like you got a couple speakers there and there to get this nice and bump in here if you wanna turn on some tunage. That's nice to have. You notice how those stand up on their own. So good storage back there. You got your, your kitchen area. So you got yourself your Furion oven, your Furion burners. Give you a little look rooney of what those look like. Three stove top burners. And what's nice, I'm just now noticing about this backsplash, is it starts right here, 
and it goes all the way across to that other wall behind that TV. So that is pretty nice. That's a nice little added touch that a lot of campers don't do. Storage to the left and to the right is the same of your microwave. You got a little bit up here. Got yourself your island kitchen. Again, that solid surface countertops with your undermount barn style sink. You got a little drying rack that they put in there. But there's your sink with your high rise, high rise residential faucet. Hit those dishes from all sides. Good storage to the left, and there's another one there on the, or I'm sorry, the right, and another on the left. Place for a garbage can. Plenty of storage here. Let's just check these two storage counters, make sure they're the same. Oh, so this one's not a pullout, so that's nice. So that's your island. Right above it, you got some accent lighting, some nice decor. Looking sharp. You got yourself a fantastic fan, which we'll find the controls for that here in a little bit. Your dinette, seat four, have a nice dinner, sit down, enjoy the view. You have awesome windows here across, and you'll see, you know, everything lines up pretty well in this. You also have your theater seating. These are going to be powered. So you got your controls right here. Extend and retract. You also have some USB outlets. And that goes the same for right there as well, along with two cup holders. On the island itself, you do have a couple outlets right here and a couple outlets right there, along with your, your lights. And those control this right there. So really sharp decor. Sorry if I'm not on my game today. I'm just impressed by this and kind of going through, soaking it in. I haven't done the formal sales training on this bad boy yet, but uh, pretty neat. So this is pretty awesome. Tons of space right here. And one of the few, one of the things that I notice is you do have a little bit of a lip right there. So that's nice when you're traveling. You don't have to worry about it kind of rolling around, hitting that and falling through that door. A couple little octopus hangers and these shelves. You can also change where you want to put them, easily removed. You got an outlet right there, so if you wanted to put a cure egg or something like that in there, you'd be more than welcome to do so. Storage here up above, it is a little high, so definitely need somebody tall up there or maybe put uh, some blankets or something that you don't get out you know, every trip or need kind of easy inside out access. Give you one more look in here and I'm going to head up. So right as you walk inside the door, the first thing you're going to run into, you got your Dometic. So what's actually pretty cool about this camper, which I did notice looking on the outside, you got three ACs, one, two, and then one in the bedroom, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Solar ready, Jabroni, Jaboni. <laughs> the rock says Jaboni. That's why that was stuck in my head. But all your slide out controls and your awnings are right there. You got your fuse box right here. All right, into the bathroom. So you got plenty of space. You got storage over here to the right. Let me show you a little view of that. And this shower, if you guys have watched my videos before, uh, I'm six feet tall. So you got plenty of space. I'm also a bigger guy and I've got plenty of room you know, to kind of uh, to kind of do my thing and walk around. Got yourself a little seat right there and a couple places to put, you know, some old soaps that you forget about. You also have a nice little skylight. So if you're a little bit tall, you know, you put your head up in there. Do your thing. For other people, you just get some extra light. So you got some outlets. This is nice to have. It is undermounted sink in here. Uh, so that, that's pretty handy in general. Nicer way of kind of doing things. Storage with some access to your plumbing. One, two, three, and four of these. So yeah, pretty sharp looking bathroom. 
Overall, I am pretty impressed with this brand and I cannot wait to get more of these in and start rolling them. All right, looks like you got a king size bed. This comes in, uh, the slide comes in, so you, know, you don't have access to your closet when this thing is closed up. And I did notice it looked like the slide was pretty shallow. So yeah, it comes in on a roller. So this storage right here, instead of having to lift up the bed to get to your storage, since it's on the slide, they went ahead and put some drawers here, which is pretty nice. You got two of those. This light switch is for those accent lights. Nice little added touch to it. There is your third Dometic for your third control for your third AC. Little area for a TV backer right here indicated by this little sticker. So you can put a TV right there. You also have your satellite and cable hookups along with a couple outlets your emergency exit window, and you got some dresser space right there. Nothing too crazy, but definitely nice to have. All right, and like I said, this has that Rhino box, so you got 10 to 15% more space in this, and this is what you're gonna get. Again, like I said in the bathroom, I'm six feet tall. You know, this is about six, six or so before you even have to worry about it. So you can fit a fully stackable washer and dryer in this. You have an area for your dryer vent location. So just like the one you have at home, you also have your plumbing and some access, you know, to some valvage, whatever you need to do there, along with a couple outlets. And you do have a little light and a bar for some hanging clothes. And this closet is huge, just like I expected. So plenty of floor space, plenty of area to put some more hanging clothes for a, you know, weeks long trip or, you know, if you're living in the thing, whatever you got to do. Again, you got another little shelf right here along with another little lip. But yeah, that gives you a nice first look of the 2022 32 or 325RL Ahara. 2022 East to West Ahara 325RL. Shoo! Whew, I'm excited for this thing. Getting all getting all brain gobbly gooped. But now I'm gonna take a couple minutes here around the outside, show you what that thing's looking like. And then I'm gonna get back to making some phone calls, maybe even try to sell this bad boy. Give you a nice little view here of what the whole thing is looking like. So you got your six point auto leveling on this. You put your propane here behind this door really really nice open huge actually it is a massive massive pass-through storage you got yourself a light over here along with an outlet and some cable and satellite if you want to put in maybe a tray that pulls out or just prop a tv in there you know or a table with a tv you're good to go watch the game and chill you can also it shows off that construction you got thicker than normal aluminum right there Your step above entry steps, so extremely sturdy. Most of the market's going towards this and just about all campers, especially in all of your luxury campers. Two really nice size awnings right there. You got this one big one, and you got this one hanging off here of the slide right there. Dual axles, and again, this thing is 35 feet, so it really hits that sweet spot for a lot of your state parks. It makes it easy to get in and out. Looks like you got an LP quick connect right here underneath. So you can hook up a little propane grill, whatever you need to do there. Whew, it's getting cold and windy. Ladder to access this. This is a fully walkable roof, so you can get on there, no problem. Maybe brush off some leaves off your slide at the end of a trip if you don't put a slide topper on. You can add those on for $700 a piece. I would definitely highly recommend doing that. And then right up here, you'll see this little part. It is prepped for a backup camera. It's prepped in particular for the Furion observation. Runs you $550 installed. Definitely a nice feature to have. So again, since this is a full profile, you can put on the slide topper here and the slide topper there because you have the clearance space. A lot of your mid profiles 
you know, they kind of start sloping down towards that front, which is why you get that cramped up, you know, bedroom. Sewer connection outlets, water heater, the back end of this pass through storage. Let's see what this is right here. So that's nice, a little access point right in there. You also have all your dump valves, black tank flush, city water connection, you know, way to uh, shut some stuff off, maybe winterize and battery disconnect, some outlets and a spray port. Other propane bottle, this is gonna where you're gonna do your level up system, the electric leveling, so one touch electric auto ready to roll and then of course you got the storage here up front and it looks like it's got the cutouts there if you wanted to add on a generator you could do so you'd obviously need the box and a little bit more work but it does look like it does have that ability but yeah i think that about wraps it up for my first look of the 2022 ahara 325rl our new line east to west newest latest and greatest my name is Hunter. Hope you guys have a good day. See ya.